I need work. I like work. This is Frances McDormand, an Emmy-winning, Globe-winning, Oscar-winning actress who's played some of the most memorable on-screen heroines and eccentrics since the mid-1980s. From her breakout role in Fargo to producing and starring in the award-winning drama Nomadland, Frances has made a career out of rich characters who subvert expectations over and over again. It's no surprise that her first acting job was in a film that flipped something on its head, the noir genre. Blood Simple, the first film created by a couple of up-and-coming filmmakers, Joel and Ethan Cohen, put Frances McDormand's unwitting character in the middle of a bewildering series of crimes. I'm not afraid of you, Marty. It was also on this film when Frances met her husband, Joel Cohen, and the two continued to collaborate, like when she played an obnoxious neighbor in the Cohen brothers' next film, Raising Arizona. Go find him, honey! <laughs> Cut it out, Glenn! Then, after periodically making appearances on TV shows, Frances earned her first Oscar nomination for playing Mrs. Pell, a hairdresser who helps a pair of FBI agents solve the murders of three civil rights workers in the Deep South in the period drama Mississippi Burning. Hatred isn't something you're born with. It gets tough. Frances continued playing memorable supporting characters in films, working with greats like Sam Raimi in his early superhero film Darkman, and Robert Altman in the ensemble drama Shortcuts. Then, after a bit part in Miller's Crossing, she teamed up with her husband Joel again in a role which earned her her first Oscar. Oh yeah? Yeah! Marge Gunderson, a polite, perceptive, seven-month pregnant detective who effortlessly unravels an ill-conceived kidnapping plot perpetuated by a bunch of idiots in the classic crime drama comedy Fargo. The perpetrators were driving a car with dealer plates, and they called someone who works here, so it'd be quite a coincidence if they weren't, you know, connected. The film may have a notorious body count, but Marge is the real heart of the story, a person who's continually underestimated due to her kind nature, but always gets the job done. After playing such an iconic role, it can be difficult to avoid typecasting, but Frances has eluded that completely with her phenomenal range of characters. Just to name a few, an unfaithful wife in The Man Who Wasn't There, a no-nonsense mother in Almost Famous, a blue-collar worker with Lou Gehrig's disease in North Country, and a vain fitness center employee in Burn After Reading. Baby crow's feet, little chickling's feet, I mean chicks. Chicky, chicky, chicky. Additionally, it seems like some of Frances's most enduring performances stem from characters who don't suffer fools or take crap from anyone. You know who threw that can? What can? Whether it's on a macro scale, in her second Oscar-winning role as a mother searching for justice for her murdered daughter in Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri. The time it took you to get out here whining like a bitch, Willoughby. Some other poor girl's probably out there being butchered right now, but I'm glad you got your priorities straight. I'll say that for you. Or a more personal, inward journey of reflection as a self-reliant woman displaced by a recession who adopts a nomadic lifestyle in Nomadland. Okay, ladies, where are we going? Ultimately, a lot of Frances McDormand's characters are just genuine, everyday people that audiences can relate to when it comes to their daily struggles. But despite their hardships, they always come out stronger on the other side.